Okay, so as we all know now, uh, the Fed is raising the Fed target another 75 basis points, uh, three quarters of a point. We all know that now. Uh, I was just at a meeting and uh, driving home listening to Powell on the radio. And I got to tell you guys, um, I'm freaking out. <laughs> I'm freaking out. We are so screwed. If anybody listened to what Powell had said at the news conference and walked away still thinking that either the Fed's going to ease or the Fed's going to stop raising or whatever you're thinking in your delusional mind, um, I realize that that line of thinking is completely delusional. And here's why I think that. It suddenly occurred to me that, and, and this occurred to me before, but it really, it really hit me in a very uh, serious fashion. Powell clearly said, clearly said, that is, it is incredibly premature to think about either stopping the raising or, in the worst case, pivoting at this point. It is completely premature to do that. His statement, all if taken uh, objectively and not um, through the lens of wishful thinking, he, in my mind, reiterated his uh, resoluteness to uh, taming inflation. Um, he said that the situation with respect to taming inflation has deteriorated significantly this year. And he also referred to, and this might have been not you know, caught by, by a lot of people, but it, this is the part that really, really hit me, okay? The fiscal side of the equation, okay? These reckless spending packages in the last year, year and a half have injected or will inject $5 trillion into the economy. Okay. This is the American rescue plan. This is the infrastructure plan. This is the, uh, inflation induction plan. I know it's reduction. I call it induction because it's going to cause more inflation. When you look at all these plans, the horrifying fact, which Powell alluded to, and I thought about more is, and I did some research over the weekend. Um, hold on, let me turn that off. And Sorry. And something that I um, realized over the weekend... A lot of this money hasn't even been spent. There's trillions of dollars sitting on the sideline that is going to impact demand and impact liquidity and impact labor demand that hasn't even been spent yet. So you have a situation where the Fed has got its foot on the brake, raising interest rates and draining liquidity from the system vis-a-vis reducing its balance sheet, and then you have the effect of this fiscal spending, this irresponsible, lunatic spending that we've seen from the government pushing on the gas full speed. So you got the Fed putting on the brakes and you got the, uh, the fiscal side slamming on the accelerator. And this has put us in a situation that I got to tell you, we have never seen before in this country or anywhere in the world where we are so totally and completely travel for most people compared to sorry about that I'm in the car here we are so totally and completely screwed what this means to me is because of the irresponsible government uh, policies coming out of Washington with the spending this is all borrowed money. Because of that, the Fed's job is going to be that much harder and it's going to persist for that much longer. And 
because of this pushing and pulling that I'm referring to here, they're not going to be able to slow down the economy as quickly as they are trying to, but yet they're going to continue to cause complete disarray in the financial markets. And you're seeing that more in the fixed income market markets and in the bond market than you are currently in the stock market, which the stock market is just like kind of hanging around and, uh, you know, in this constant state of hope that the Fed's going to back off. If you listen to Powell today and you still think that in the short term the Fed is going to either pause or back off and pivot, you're completely delusional. Okay, that, that's all I can tell you. This is going to be longer than anyone expects. It's going to be deeper than anyone expects. And the longer the Fed raises rates and drains liquidity, the more you're going to run the risk of a black swan event in the markets, which no one can anticipate now, where the normal relationships between markets uh, are normally maintained. Something's going to break. Something's going to come apart. And uh, I, I, I have never felt more negatively toward uh, the capital markets at this point in time. That includes the stock and the bond markets. I wish it were different. I could be wrong, okay? But when I connect all of the dots and look at the fact that a lot of this money have, hasn't even been spent yet, it's just going to continue to make inflation persist and it's going to make the Fed's job that much harder and it's going to prolong this pain that we're going to go through and we're all going to suffer. I wish it was more positive, but I'm trying to give you the straight scoop, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments, okay? Thanks. I'll see you on the next video.